Well, this is one of the last three turbine gooses left flying. Uh, I acquired this about five years ago, uh, just as a hobby. But now I'm part of Antilles Seaplanes, who are going to be building these turbine gooses brand new. Uh, we have bought the type certificate for the turbine model of the goose that allows us to build those. And it is all from scratch, all brand new parts, including engines just like this airplane is here, which this is a 1970 McKinnon G21G turbine goose. Uh, well, the first amphibian Grumman built was a Grumman Duck, and that was the uh, a bi-wing, single-hulled uh, amphibian. The first flying boat type they built were the gooses, and they started in about 1938 building gooses. Went, that production went through uh, 1945. This is a 1944 airframe that was converted in 1970 to turboprops. At that time in 1970 it became a 1970 McKinnon goose. The standard Grumman goose had a gross weight of about 8,000 pounds. The turbine model has a gross weight of 12,500 pounds. Uh, empty weight is about 6,800 pounds so they can carry a huge load. They come with 10 seats. Uh, the range is about uh, 1,300 miles. Cruise speed is 200 knots. An airplane that can do a whole lot of things, plus it can land on the water. I've been on water uh, waves as high as three feet. Uh, it's a rough ride with three foot waves, but it can handle that fine. Uh, one foot to two foot chop is great. to do that all day long. Well, I do all my own maintenance on this, and, and believe it or not, it is a very simple air, airframe. Grumman built these to last. They're made to come apart a hundred times. Covers come off for inspection, go back on. It's, it's, it is a very easy airplane to maintain. They're strong. The pieces are heavy duty. Uh, you don't have parts wearing out every 100 or 200 hours. Uh, they're really built for commercial use. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its detailed design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. Grumman has a, a, a huge experience building the uh, amphibians. They're built strong. That's why they're still here 70 years later. Uh, in Antilles, we will build the new gooses just the way Grumman did. We're looking at uh, building one a month. The first one's on the production line right now. Should be completed late spring of 2009. Uh, it has been sold. And we gear up with our production certificate, and that will be one a month. There's a number of countries, these new emerging type countries that don't have the infrastructure that we do in North America, where you have an airport every 20 miles, it seems. Uh, they need something for transportation. Uh, most of these places have water, so a water type airplane works good. We can carry 10, 10 seats or nine passengers. Uh, handle most kinds of water, including the open ocean. Uh, so it, it is a worldwide market, truly a worldwide market. Been a, a huge amount of interest worldwide, although most of the current orders today are for private individuals. Uh, the current uh, list price on, on the new goose is 3.4 million. Well, they'll come standard with 10 seats. They'll have the standard long range fuel, standard retract floats. Uh, Long-range fuel being 586 gallons of fuel. They will have a modern panel. The panel, uh, exact configuration of the panel is not confirmed yet. A little bit of that will be up to the buyer. Uh, it'll, it'll be a good glass screen, new panel. Uh, they'll be fully corrosion proof, more than Grumman did when Grumman built these, because we want them to, we want the new Antilles gooses to be here 70 years later, like the Grumman's are and we know they'll be used in salt water.
Uh, the power plants will be the Pratt & Whitney PT6-34s, which is a 750 horse engine, uh, but on these they'll be derated to 680 horse. Uh, that's what the type certificate calls for. That'll extend the engine life. It, it'll make a great package. You've heard of this thing called WAS, right? The Wide Area Augmentation System lets you fly GPS glide path approaches without relying on ground-based landing aids. No VOR, no ILS, no problem. Fact is, WAS is so smart, it even knows what you're going to say next time you need it. And don't have it on board. Wah, wah, I want my WAS now! I was really crying there for a second. For these to be insurable, the key is to have a training program that the insurance companies sign off on. We're developing that right now. It will probably be a 50-hour training program, kind of like what they're setting up for the light jets. Uh, we will get insurance company sign-off prior to completing it, and that will be critical to the success of this airplane because while it's an easy airplane to fly, because it goes from water to land and back to land to water to land back and forth there's a whole another range of areas where you can get into trouble if you're not properly trained single engine work on this is pretty much a no-brainer I know a guy who does uh, seal patrols on the Aleutian Peninsula in Alaska the Aleutian Islands with one of these and he'll be up for eight hours at a time he will uh, shut one engine down on purpose, feather it, and just run on one engine for a few hours just to conserve fuel. Uh, if you have an engine failure, you, you, you dial in maybe a tiny bit of rudder trim and it just keeps right on going straight. It's much improved over a piston goose. A piston goose on one engine is a handful. It's fun to own an airplane for me that is a unique airplane. And, and at this fly in here today, I think half of these airplanes are unique airplanes. Any one of them would be a blast to own. As long as I'm going to fly, I might as well own something that's a little bit different. Uh, my hangar space costs the same, whether it's a, one of these or, or even a Cessna. So that's why I picked something like this. I like the water flying. I wanted to stick with that. I was originally looking for a Grumman Widgeon, which is a little smaller. I thought it might be a little more manageable but came across the Piston Goose at the right price, thought I'd give it a try. I, I love flying it. Um, I probably fly 100 hours a year in it, which is not a lot, but it's enough to keep me current. Um, any chance I get to go somewhere, I, I can, as long as I can afford to put fuel in it. It's just, it's a blast to fly.